The 1999 season began for the Jets as a quest for the organization's second ever Super Bowl appearance. Nothing less would do, as New York had a veteran head coach, brilliant defensive coordinator, and one of the top running games in the league. The defense had a mix of old and young talent, and the pair of wideouts they had were top-notch, with few teams boasting a tandem like Keyshawn Johnson and Wayne Corbett. Most importantly, a veteran quarterback who could get them the ball and presumably the Jets over the hump. So in the opening game of the season, on the opening drive, when Vinny Testaverde hit this touchdown pass to Richie Anderson, more seemed right from the New York Jets than at any time since 1968. Then this happened. Here's Martin again, lost the football, and covered it again. And holding his leg on the ground is Vinny Testaverde. Well, the way he's beating that turf, it's not good news for the New York Jets. Vinny knew it immediately. He had torn his Achilles. One quarter, season over, both for Testaverde and possibly Parcell's football team. But before anyone could get to the gloom and doom of the rest of the year, there were three quarters of a football game to be played today. Parcells had elected to only activate two quarterbacks, with Testaverde being one of them, and his full-time punter, Tom Tupa, the other. Now, in fairness, Tupa had played quarterback regularly in college, but he was a punter now. If Parcells chose to play his emergency quarterback, Rick Meyer, Tupa could no longer stay in the contest. You see the dilemma. Well, then, something crazy happened. He made his backup quarterback, Rick Meyer, number three, Tupa has time, throws for the end zone, has a man, touchdown! The punter, Tupa, was not done making plays, even showing off his mobility. That's Tom Tupa's shoes you're looking at. Those are punter shoes, look at that. Left foot, that looks like a slipper, the right foot's one you kick with. Tupa rolls out, throws, has a man open, Keyshawn Johnson complete, first down and more! Midfield, knocked out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. But the Cinderella story of the punter that could save the open, maybe even the season, hit a little snag. Tupa, and it's going to get creamed from behind by Willie McGinnis. On the blitz, Tupa, that's a fumble toward the end zone, and that's a New England touchdown. Under the gun, down he goes. Willie McGinnis. So just when the broadcast booth pushed the idea of Tupa exiting, the punter turned quarterback decided not to shank this opportunity. I think it was a risk keeping Tom Tupa in there. Five wide receivers again. Keyshawn Johnson again. He's got it. He has running room. Lawyer Malloy trying to close the distance and pushes him out of bounds. Tupa over the middle, touchdown! A two-point conversion here would pull Tupa's team within three points. In this area, the man owned much experience. Actually, the first such experience in NFL history. Then the last couple of years have sort of disappeared the fake. And the two-point conversion, the first of the season for the Browns is good. Tom Tupa, the holder and a backup quarterback. Yeah, that was kind of awesome. But no dice on Tupa's attempt to cut the lead to three here. With the third quarter now coming to an end, Parcells made a fateful decision. NFL rules allowed for Tupa to stay in the game as a punter if Parcells didn't go to his emergency quarterback until the fourth quarter. So once the final period kicked off, the Tuna kicked Tupa out and inserted Meyer at quarterback. Oh boy. The offense under Meyer wasn't able to put it in the paint. So naturally, New York turned to the punter again. So John Hall. We'll tee this one up from 33 yards out. No, it's a fake. Tupa, Tupa on the run, pulls the first down yardage. Did he get there? No, it looks like he's short. He didn't get there, just short. Tough break. So that's it for this crazy 1999 opener, right? Not exactly. On first down, he's gonna throw over the middle, intercepted. Now protecting a one-point lead, the Jets' defense stepped up again, forcing a quick Patriots punt. Meyer did the unthinkable next, though. Meyer over the middle, popped up into the air, and intercepted! 
Chris Slade picked off the ball, and the Patriots have the football in Jet territory. The Pats capitalized on Meyer's mistake, moving 44 yards to set up Adam Vinatieri for a game-winning attempt. And it's good. Remember, that's Adam Vinatieri pre-Patriots dynasty, making field goals, winning games 18 years ago, and ending one of the craziest openers you'll ever see. And it's also the best passing effort we've seen from a punter in a long time. But this game resonated far beyond the arm or leg of Tom Tupa. During a season that many would call Bill Parcells' best ever coaching job, the Tuna benched Meyer while coaxing an incredible 8-8 eight eight record out of his team with an undrafted free agent nobody ever heard of at quarterback. Lucas to the five, touchdown, untouched, Ray Lucas. Had the Jets won the opener against the Patriots, New York would have been in the playoffs. Even with that loss, a catch by Wayne Krebet here could have sent Parcells' pesky squad to the postseason as well. And what had to be an exhausting, frustrating campaign for the 58-year-old head coach, Parcells decided to call it a career in coaching after the season. He took a job upstairs with the organization, knowing he had groomed the perfect replacement to coach the Jets. In an even weirder twist, the Patriots fired their head coach, despite the fact that he had taken the team to two straight playoff appearances in his first two seasons. That guy ended up doing all right. Your Seahawks, Super Bowl 48 champions. So that meant there was another coaching vacancy in the AFC East. Now these two storylines met at that one spot in the universe where a press conference couldn't get any weirder. Due to the various uncertainties surrounding my position as it relates to the team's new ownership, um, I've decided to resign as the head coach of the New York Jets. I have to do what, what I'm comfortable doing and, and what I feel is, is the right thing for Bill Belichick. Well, thank you. Um, hopefully this, this press conference will go a little better than the last one I had. <laughs> so if Testaverde never got hurt, would the 99 Jets have made it to the Super Bowl? Would Parcells have resigned? Better yet, would Belichick have been offered the Patriots position? Who knows? As for Tupa, the punter turned would-be hero, who threw two touchdowns to nearly pull off the unthinkable, would throw two more passes the rest of his career.